Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Great. So I am Pooja Moore, and I'm here to talk about adversity can be good for you. Now, I have a question for you guys. How many of you um, had difficulty in their life, like some kind of adversity? All of you? Had, you know, like in life, you go through difficult moments and problems. So how many of you went through problems in your life? OK. <laughs> Everybody else is having a great life. <laughs> OK. So on life's journey and on your path to pursuing your dreams, you are bound to meet with adversities. Whether you succeed or not only depends on you. My journey started when I was in college. I was studying engineering at Nirma University. But as you may know, I'm not standing here as an engineer today. So what led me to being a model? After winning a beauty contest in my college, the next day when I saw myself in the newspaper, a voice inside me said I should pursue this further. While another voice questioned, what am I going to tell my parents? At that time, if anyone asked me what path was I pursuing, I actually would not have known it to be fashion model, as fashion was something I wasn't familiar with. What I did know was that I wanted to get jobs, and I need a portfolio that, for that, and for that I need a photographer, and that costs money. So I started doing a part-time job, meanwhile being a full-time student. And finally, getting a, after getting a portfolio done, I started getting calls. But don't get too excited. 70% of them were fake, 29 were irrelevant, and 1% was an invitation to a beauty pageant. Of course, I jumped on the opportunity. After an intense month, my vision became clear to me that I wanted to be a fashion model. All of this unraveled in my final year in college, and I was standing on a crossroad now. One, I am to be an engineer, while the other is a path to be a fashion model. Before making any final decision, I wanted to give myself a chance and go to Delhi to see what the modeling world has for me. I simply told my parents that I'm going to meet my sister and went on an adventure. Upon arriving in Delhi, I had a few work-related meetings. And as if history repeated itself, there was another photographer who wanted to do my portfolio. Again, it costed a lot. Um, and I went ahead, and it did get me jobs, but I was working as a freelancer. And here is how I would summarize my experience. I was my agent and model at the same time. That is, I was negotiating my rates at the same time, working as a model. I was told to remove my beauty spots that are the molds under my eyes because they said that it takes too long to Photoshop them. I was given threats. Like, if you don't do this job, I'll make sure that you can never succeed in modeling. I was lied about payments and sometimes didn't get paid at all. I was deceived about mood boards. Uh, mood boards are basically which portray what the shoot is about. Somewhere in between overcoming all these adversity, a leading agency from Mumbai scouted me. That's when I was introduced to the term agency, which takes care of all the business side in return from a cut from payment. And all I have to do now is just model. Phew, that's a huge burden off my shoulders. On the bright side, if everything worked out brilliantly in Delhi, I might have passed this opportunity of getting signed with the agency, and none of this that unfolded afterwards would have happened. And it wouldn't have led me here today, standing in front of you as an international model. I went ahead and signed 
with the agency and moved to Mumbai. Also, recently, I received a personal message from a girl who aspires to be a model. She shared her story and said it's very similar to mine, that her parents do not allow her to be model. But she feels very strongly about it, and she, she says if she can't be a model, she will suicide. Now, I know at times the adversities you face can be so overwhelming that you feel desperately helpless and hopeless. But there is nothing, and I mean nothing, that comes before your precious life. Life itself is a gift, and each one of us so special and unique, created in a way that even the fingerprints of any two people aren't the same. These seemingly ginormous adversities are too little in the whole picture of your life. So at this point, I would like to add to my message that adversity can be good for you, but overcome it. Don't let it overcome you, because you are bigger than that. My journey has only just begun. After signing on to my modeling agency, I began my modeling career in India professionally. I worked on many shoots and began building my book for international markets. Soon after, I was scouted by a major modeling agency in New York through Instagram and was invited to relocate to New York. Now, New York is an altogether different chapter, not to mention, mention the culture shock and feeling as if I'm suddenly living in a world that is 10 years ahead of me. I worked hard doing back-to-back -back castings for a month I debuted in the Louis Vuitton show in Palm Springs, making my first break into the international arena. Then came my first fashion week. I was super excited. There is a whole week of back-to-back -back castings. You may get selected for some shows or you might not have any. After all the castings, I received the news that I was selected for the Givenchy show, which was amazing and exciting for both my team and I. Here is me walking the show. Yes. What a twist of plot, if not a twist of ankle for sure. <laughs> Many people asked me, how did you get up after that fall and finish the walk? First, th thanks to these two gentlemen who were kind-hearted enough to help me get up. Second, my mom always said, if you start something, finish it until the end. Be like a straight line reaching towards your path. So I've never known to quit halfway. When this happened, I thought my career was over. As I was walking out thinking about the end of my career, <laughs> my casting director said, you are now officially a supermodel. As there is no supermodel who have never fallen once. It struck me and changed the way I was looking at the entire situation. The next day, I had another show, and I was dreading to go because I remembered from the fitting that the dress was short, and the big wound on my knee from the show will for sure make the designer throw me out of the show. Surprisingly, he swapped my short dress for a full jumpsuit and let me do his show. Of course, my wounds were hurting while I walked each one of the shows, but I continued working and did shows and casting for next month and a half. Sure, I overheard people saying, I hope she doesn't fall in this show. And yes, they were gossiping around me every time I entered a room. 
But all these adversities made me even more grateful for all the kind-hearted people who still believed in me and let me do their shows. Later, I realized, if I, had, if I hadn't fallen then, I wouldn't have been so confident in all the following shows I did. Think about it. The only thing any model will fear on a catwalk had already happened to me. So guess what? There was no other fear left. I felt fearless, and I walked every single so show with a strut. Many people will see the fruit of someone's success, but hardly the adversity they overcame in their journey to success. A change in perspective can change your situation. Adversity can be good for you if you learn how to navigate it. Thank you.